One little aspect that I've learned, I should say recently, is when you hear somebody else's opinion, not to kind of be dismissive of them. Um, I don't know how many times have you discovered with yourself, but I know of myself where I'm, I'm quite convinced about a particular topic, you know, whether it's, uh, I'm talking in the sense now of things as it relates to scripture and so forth, but it could just as well be things related to health, things related to politics, where we're convinced that that person's viewpoint is the right one and that scientific thing is the right thing or this biblical context thing is the right thing. Just to discover maybe a week or month or a year later that there were certain facts that you didn't have that makes what you believe in now to be not, or what you believed in not to be totally true because all the facts were in there or the perceptions or the you didn't study it sufficiently. So having that as an experience, I've realized that when I come across somebody and we're speaking about a topic, um, I might be totally sold out and convinced that what I believe is the ultimate because I read it in the Bible or I read it from a scientific magazine and nothing will change because here are the facts. How can you question the facts? Or how can you question the science, they say usually. But I, I no longer look at the person on the other side who has a differing view and, and like say like, okay, they'll catch up with me one day because they don't understand. I've started realizing that they might be in a position where I need to be, but because I have my viewpoints and my points of departure are different, I might be seeing it through a totally different lens. And in that way, I don't become dismissive of their thinking, even though to me it looks like totally aberrant, it, it looks like way out. I'd rather become more tolerant in understanding where they're coming from, what their thinking is behind, because when I get to see that, I might be able to find out that actually what they believe has a lot of validity in because a year down the line, it might be that I'm believing exactly what they believe or 80% of what they believe forms part of my belief structure now. So the arrogance about knowing everything, I've learned that doesn't work out. Never get to a point where you call somebody an idiot because you think they don't understand or whatever it is. Because in their eyes, you might appear as the idiot, but the wisdom is to know that everyone is on a journey from A to the final part when they leave this. They're busy discovering things. So even people who call themselves followers of Christ, Christians, they might be at different levels. So you might meet them at a different place. Somebody that might be a follower of any other sort of religion or so forth, they might be on their journey at a certain point. And it doesn't mean that they are wrong and you are right, or you are wrong and they are right. Everyone is on a discovery point. There's a common area that you've got to arrive at where truth prevails. Okay, you can't just say, okay, everybody is acceptable, all roads lead to Rome. There's a point at which truth will be prevailing, but it's not for you to define that truth to everyone in the world. You can define your truth to them and share it with them, but be open to hearing their truth and also taking it with an open mind. And when you put that together and you share with each other, you then can be open to learn and grow because maybe your truth ultimately becomes 90% of yours and 10% of what you heard there. It doesn't mean that everybody you listen to has to have 100% of the, the answers for you to take any advice from them. It's like on a shopping cart. Sometimes you've got a whole shopping list or a shop full of stuff, but you only take the things that you need with discussions with people, listen carefully, speak less, listen more, and just listen to people, even if you totally disagree with them. They might have one nugget that you could take from that and build on your side. Okay, and, and this goes across the board. I'm not talking about uh, any, um, you know, eternal matters like your, your relationship with your creator. I'm just talking generally about anyone on any topic in life. Um, so when you come across somebody and they call somebody else a stupid idiot because they don't know the facts and whatever it is, then you should be cautious as to how much advice you take from them because they they become the rule within themselves. And this this lesson I kind of picked up along the way from uh, a rabbi. I'm no I'm no Jew, but I, I quite admire the 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 sort of method of tenacity. They, I think they call it chuspa, how they 
persevere in understanding stuff. And his philosophy or the thing that I picked up from him was exactly that. He, he never shoots down two ideas. If you come up with an idea, he acknowledges it. He acknowledges a total different idea to the one that he had before. But he sees validity in all until he finds the jewels out of that and then he'll move on with it. So that is a lesson that I think we, we can all pick up is that we are not dealing with people that disagree with us. We are dealing with people that have other opinions and have different stages of growth. And we all need to learn from each other. There's some things that are non-negotiable in your life. And that is maybe related to your model stance, your, your stance before your creator and sort of things. That's not for anyone else to question. But as far as, you know, shooting down every other option out there, um, like even the Bible speaks, if somebody comes with false doctrines, you mustn't listen to them. Okay, but you, you've, got to, you've got to know what the false doctrine is before you can push them aside. Okay, you can't say he's got a false doctrine because you heard from somebody who heard from somebody who heard from somebody. First, listen to what they are and then you decide, well, this doesn't sound like a good doctrine to me after I analyze it. So I'll push that aside and that won't form part of me going forward. But don't close your ears to listening to people's opinions out there. Um, that doesn't mean that you've to understand the whole world. You've got to understand every religion or every political uh, situation. It's those people that cross your paths. That's how you can deal with them. That's how I deal with them. I listen to them. I see they have an opinion. I try hard to hold back from trying to convince them uh, that my way is the right way. Just listen to where they are at. Take what they have to say and spit out the bones and take the pieces of meat in there. And in a situation like that, you could share what your convictions are. But don't expect them to change everything they believe because of your convictions. Okay, be blessed and uh, have a fantastic day and shalom.